no fetus can beat us. You can't afford them. We abort them. You come, you dumb. How may I help you? Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, everybody felt shitty, including the mouse. Mom at the whorehouse, dad smoking grass. I just settled down for a nice piece of ass. Went out to the lawn, I heard such a clatter. I sprung out my chair to see what's the matter. Then out on the lawn, I saw a big dick. Of course I knew it was old Saint Nick. He came down the chimney like a bat out of hell. I knew at that moment that fat fucker fell. He filled all of our stockings with pretzels and beer and a big rubber dick for my brother, the queer. He flew up the chimney with a thunderous fart. That son of a bitch blew the chimney apart. He swore and he cursed as he rolled out of sight. Piss on you all and have a hell of a good night. Ah, here we go, another day at the lab, dude, just gotta open this fucking door, Let's see what we got here. Yeah, the standard door handle, and hey, what are you doing, Carl? Let go, dude, I'm trying to open the door, fuck. Just st Carl, fuck, dude, stop, seriously, let me just get this thing up. Don't try to shut the fucking door, Carl, dude, I'm trying to kill the humans, let me just get this shit, fuck, dude, let me use my snake robot arm and just uh, slide it open. What are you doing, dude, stop. Stop it, dude! No, don't pull my string! Ah! My ass! Dude, stop it! Carl, stop, dude! Seriously! Such a dick! You pull off my ass and now I gotta reset and shit, dude? Fuck! God damn it! What is it? Okay, we got the standard handle. Let me just scoot a little bit closer here. Clamping. There we are. Okay, Carl, stay the fuck away from me, dude. Okay. Here we go. Let me just get my snake arm around there. Carl, don't you dare come fucking near me, dude. You fucking asshole. I'm gonna kill the humans and you might be first, dude. Oh, Dad, 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 Gingers have no friends and no one will have sex with them. They come out at night, they creep and crawl. Who does God hate most of all? Gingers! Who should have never been born? Gingers! Who's adopted? Gingers! Who belongs with floating turds in the fucking toilet bowl? Gingers! Gingers are leprechaun, evil Irish little drunks. They should all be killed at once. Kill them and collect insurance. But they're already fucking dead. Skin is white, hair is red. They like giving head to men in bed. It's gay. I'm just Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I think I broke my bed. <laughs> Hey, Alina. Hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Vietnam is this short? Snapchat short. Jingle bells, mortar shells, VC in the grass. Take your Merry Christmas and shove it up your ass. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, you little snitch. Mind your own business, you nosy bitch. This bus is bumpy as hell, bro. <laughs> Damn, bumpy ass bus. Holy shit, he fell. Home, a place where I can go to take this off my shoulder. Someone take me home. Home. Winter, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Baby, wake up! Something what? happened to your face. It's peeling what? so bad. What? I, don't happened? Happened I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck? What, what's wrong with my face? I don't know. Do you what want happened? lotion? Do you need lotion? What happened? Do you want I look lotion? Like it's okay, I'll get you lotion. I'll get you lotion. Oh my lotion. god, grab the lotion. Hurry up! Shower drains can be a nightmare, but I've turned a hairy situation into art. My name's Albert Colstein, and I'm the shower drain hair artist. It all started when uh, I had a hairy roommate. Naturally, I became a protest artist, making these obscene vignettes out of the hair he'd leave in the drain. I have no shame about shaming. I think my work first started receiving global recognition when I started recreating these masterpieces right in my shower. You have to understand, there was such a high demand for my work that I had to begin seeking beyond my own shower drain to harvest supplies. So I became a freelance plumber by day and a cat sitter by night. Yeah, a few contemporaries have called me a modern day Jackson Pollock, but I'm more interested in live performance art. <coughs> It is a nauseating experience, but that's just a small price you have to pay for a priceless work of art. Magnifique. Yeah, no, man. Give me a kiss. Kiss me, fat boy. Go. Look at the bed. Nice Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to have to put on my fucking double seeing glasses because I can't even begin to see the amount of bullshit coming from you. How do I ask a boy out? Roses are red, violets are blue. Guess what? My bed has room for two. Oh my god, no! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, we can do it in a car. Stop it! I just wanted you to watch me just all. How to cat proof your Christmas tree. Because tis the season to act like a dickhead. 
And frankly, lads, we spend enough time putting this thing up, I'd quite like it to stay up, please. So here are six tips. Number one, orange scented items. Any and all citrus items to your cat smell disgusting. So use them copiously on your tree. Number two, wire on your decorations. This dangly situation is just too tempting for you. Use small pieces of thin garden wire and then swipe and no swiping. Number three, tin foil. For cats, tin foil is like the floor is lava got a bit too real. They straight up won't walk on it. So place it all around the base of your tree so they can't climb up it. Number four, bitter apple spray. This shit smells disgusting to them. Spray generously on the tree, but for God's sake, turn your lights off first. Number five, distractions. Cats are like toddlers, they want whatever's newest and shiniest. So provide them with something newer and shinier than the tree. And finally, number six, tethering. If all the fuck else fails, put your tree on a goddamn leash and tie it to the fecking curtain pole. Then at the very least, the whole thing won't come careering over when the little twat goblins torpedo it. What you doing? Wanna go down? Can you go downstairs? Hey! Oh, yeah, right there, Donald. Oh, what the fuck? Well, where'd you stop? I don't know. All right, keep going then, pal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make a great breakfast smoothie. First, put in some yogurt. Then, put in a banana. Then, take some kale and throw it in the trash can. Fuck kale. Then, take some flint and steel, put it in the uh, blender, then add some gasoline, then set it to chop, then plug it in. Now crack open a beer and drink that for breakfast like a real man.